Israeli Defense Forces raided RT's office in the West Bank, destroying equipment and confiscating records. It comes as part of a series then of similar IDF raids on media centers, a bit of military, ongoing military campaign against the Palestinian authorities, whom Israel is accusing of kidnapping those three Israeli students. Still not found. Let's get the latest Smarties, Paula Sleer. Hi, Paula. What happened at the office and how did the IDF I explain what happened at the end of the day? Well, as you say, the Israeli Defense Forces raided the offices of Pal Media, which is the production company based in the West Bank city of Ramallah and which provides services to Rusi al -Yom. They damaged the building, they damaged the studio, the internet signal was lost, the archive of both video and audio material disappeared. At the same time, furniture was destroyed, the, do the doors of the offices and the studio were ruined, as well as computers and disks that were confiscated. Now, there's been almost almost a comical conversation between us and the Israeli Defense Forces. We've been in contact with them throughout the course of the day. And when we asked them what exactly had happened, they said nothing. The raid was against the Al-Aqsa channel. We then pointed out that that was actually in another building. And they said, oh, well, then in that case, the raid was against Al-Quds TV. So we followed up with a question as to why have you then confiscated RT Arabic's equipment? And the answer we received from the IDF was that we had to, since the operation targeted the whole complex. Now, these confiscations were done as part of the so-called Operation Brothers Keeper, which is intended to rescue three Israeli teenagers that were kidnapped over 10 days ago by Hamas. The deputy head of RT Arabic has said that the IDF has never acted without any kind of documentation that proves that whoever it's raiding is in fact affiliated with terrorists. But when he asked where the proof was that RT was affiliated with any such party, that proof was short in coming. The spokesman of Israel Defense Force was claiming that Israeli force is never, uh, never acting without any uh, documents, without any exact specific intelligence. Well, I can tell him now, where is the intelligence that you've got to prove that RT was somehow or anyhow related to any political movement? The IDF has said that if after the examination of the disks and equipment that it has confiscated, it is clear that there is no terror-related content, then the equipment will be returned to RT Arabic. But as you say, and Paul, you know, the explanation from the IDF so far, as far as RT is concerned, is as clear as mud, isn't it? Thanks for the update. They appreciate it.